Hey, what is going on out there, folks? Today, we're going to talk about the dumbing down of Madden over the years. And there's a lot of factors that go into it. Um, some of it has to do with actual just lazy programming and coding. Some of it has to do with a money grab. And some of it has to do with knowledge of the game of football. And the thing that is quite amazing to me that I really can't comprehend is EA is the company that has the exclusive license to produce a simulation-based football game. And within the term of simulation, that that should mean that you have to have some kind of knowledge of the game of football. But the game is catered to casuals and people who don't have knowledge of the game of football. So therefore, I think by default, the EA should be stripped of having the exclusive simulation license. Let somebody else do it. And it's a lot of the younger crowd, and I know that I'm probably going to catch a lot of heat and hell for what I'm saying here. A lot of us older heads, and not extremely old heads, just people who have knowledge of the game, want a football game that has more depth. Uh, with the strides and leaps that have been made in AI, we want players that respond in conjunction with our decisions as a coach and as a user-controlled player on the field. That's not the fact of Madden. I can't even tell you the last time that I played any kind of online match in Madden and didn't see at least 20 catches on the sideline because corner routes are king. When I hear YouTubers out there that push Madden talk about this year that corner routes should still be good. That lets me know that there's no strategy in the game whatsoever. It's just stats, mindless stats that really don't matter. Speed is king. Never would you hear a coach at the beginning of the season in training camp and a reporter comes up and puts the mic to their face and asks them, well, what's your passing game going to be like? He's not going to look at him and say, well, corner routes should be good. That only comes into play in your game planning. And if a team that you're, the opponent that you're playing does not have good coverage or a good scheme against corner routes. And, and that's another thing. They throw all these scheme things out. And, you know, I blame this a lot on your, your e-bookers and your YouTubers out there. If you don't have the personnel, certain schemes just don't work. That's just not the case in Madden. You want to know why? Because it's not replicating football. It's not simulation football. It's uh, a mindless game of, dare I say, NFL street for the little babies that don't understand the concepts of football. It's just like forever. They still allow people on defense take a user-controlled linebacker or safety and just shoot the gap. That doesn't, you just can't do that play after play after play in any kind of football game. And what I tried to do is I, there was a linebacker that just kept on shooting the gap. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to run a trap play because in real football, you know, you let that guy, he comes firing through that gap and, you know, you run a trap play and you knock him on his ass. Uh, no. You know, my guard never gets there. You know, it's the same, the same thing. A spammable game is not a simulation game. And EA really needs to just like give it up. You know, the slant routes have been overpowered for how many years? For some reason, nobody gets knocked around when they're running across the field. Uh, once you meet, reach that threshold, of the hash mark on the opposite side of the field, nine times out of 10, your wide receiver's wide open. And once again, I'm going to throw up in my mouth if I see another catch on the sideline, somebody dragging their toes or catching the ball within two yards of the sideline. It's this mindless stuff that Madden has, and they have the audacity to have the exclusive simulation license. You know, anytime that you see somebody come out in their cover two DB fire and they're in base defense and there's hardly anything you can do. 
And I know I hear the people out there, well, you got to just find the right play to uh, exploit it. But once again, football doesn't work like that. Like there's actual thinking individuals on the field, players that pick up certain tendencies and stop certain things. It like they might not take it out completely, but they'll mitigate it to some extent. Not in Madden, not in Madden. You can have somebody run hurry up on you all the way down the field. Players do not tire out. Things don't become sloppy. That wide receiver is running the route just as fast as he always has. And EA should be ashamed of this product that they put out every single year. But, you know, it's it's not going to stop because it's the only it's the only thing that we have. So, you know, their sales are always going to be good. Because if you want the NFL experience, you have to come to them. And a lot of people, that's the one thing that has to be on the door before they'll even walk in the door. You have a competitor coming out, really not a competitor in maximum football. And just because they don't have any kind of license, there's a lot of people that won't even download it, even though it's free. And even though they've shown that they're implementing logic that's trying to replicate real football madden does not do this and god help you if you're an online player because um, it caters to the mindless you know there's no way the candy coat it the game literally it caters to the mindless but this is just the thought uh, in this video here and for any and all Eating on mad news. Just kidding. Make sure you tune in here to SGN Hub. It's been Smoking Jay, and I will see you in the ring or on the field.